Hello, this is a preview of our two-day art and antique sale next Wednesday and Thursday, the 24th, 23rd and 24th of May. Uh, lots of things, interesting things to have a look at. We'll have a quick look around the whole room um, and show you some of the things that stand out to me. Um, in the picture section, the first part of the picture sale, we have these four pictures by Cherie Valentine Danes, who's a very highly regarded modern artist. Uh, these were all bought by the present owner, who unfortunately died quite recently, all bought at Henley Regatta. And they all have the Henley Regatta exhibition labels on the back. And you can see from that one, this one was £6,000 when it was bought at, at the Regatta. Um, they vary from sort of, generally from sort of three to £5,000 at their gallery price. The estimate is between one and two thousand each, but she is a very highly regarded artist, still very popular and fashionable, and should be a lot of competition, competition over these, so I'm hoping for more on these. But uh, they're all in immaculate condition and all very fashionable sort of scenes. And these are scenes at Henley Regatta, and um, all signed, all have the um, gallery labels on the reverse. So they're the first four lots in this picture sale. Um, we're just currently hanging all the pictures on the wall at the moment, so that's why the walls are a bit bare. But if we come around here, you can see where we've started to hang them. Lots of interesting things this time. And some nice, nice modern art as well to look through. But, uh, if we carry on down here and past all this old clutter. We'll have a look in here as well. This is nice. This is a, uh, it's a lovely old bronze. Um, it's not a reproduction of this one. I think it's probably about 1900. There's no signature unfortunately, which is a great shame because it's a really handsome piece, isn't it? Um, good looking thing. Estimate on that is three to five hundred. That's nice. Underneath it is a dinosaur egg. Fossilised egg there. Um, they're very sought after things. Don't come up for sale very often these. Um, that one should be sort of six to eight hundred, but a good size and it's intact as well. <laughs> what about the insides? Uh, lots of Chinese things in this time. Good pair of um, antique Chinese vases. Look at that with the original metal rings on the top. Very nice, it's sort of three to five hundred estimate. Um, lots more things still to go in these cabinets yet. This is a lovely little oil painting. So it's very modern. It came from the same house as the, the Cherie Valentine Danes paintings here. Uh, Van der Putten is the name of the artist here. And that's an oil on board. Isn't that beautifully painted? Probably going to be a couple of hundred or so. Something like that. Lots of silver and interesting pieces here. Nice little um, Swiss silver and enamel clock there in its original case. That's sort of three to five hundred. Little bits of silver. This is nice. Oh, interesting. Anyway, it's uh, William. Uh, sorry, it's a George the Fourth. You can see the GR cipher there. Policeman's truncheon, but it's a Bow Street one, which is nice, with the original uh, royal cipher there. That's in pretty good condition as well. It's a nice thing. That should uh, generate a bit of interest. It should be uh, maybe 150 to 200 or so. I thought. Chinese bronze Buddha, all sorts there. These are nice. So this is um, well worth a look. Don't get many Second World War medals of, of value or interest, really. I mean, they're, they're fascinating things, the things that, that people did to, to uh, merit these medals. But um, these, interestingly, have come with lots of papers as well. So this is... Um, an OBE group here with very ordinary um, Second War General Service medals, and a, that's a General Service medal with a Malaya bar, and the it's an MBE because it's silver this one, but it's an OBE ribbon. But he was awarded the OBE, and this is his account uh, of what happened to merit the award. So basically, he's saying that uh, he was walking along a road to to Keith when a Wellington bomber flew very low overhead with its starboard engine smoking, losing height slowly, um, disappeared up beyond a hill, over a hill with a column of smoke rising immediately. Um, 
when we came inside the plane, it burned fiercely and the bullets were exploding all the time. Four of the crew had already got out of the plane and I found out from one of them that there were still two inside. Corporal Gill and I then ran towards the plane and tried to break through the side of the fuselage with a bayonet. Finding this impossible, I climbed on top of the nose and pulled Corporal Gill up beside me. We could see a man lying right inside the fuselage with the flames just beginning to catch at his body. And it says how they rescued him and dragged him out. Um, when we got him about five yards away, there was an explosion inside the plane which blew us over and pieces of wreckage flew over our head. This explosion was followed by four others and then the plane just burned steadily. They tried to get back to the plane for the other man, but it was burning so fiercely we couldn't approach it. We carried the man down the hill and let police attend him. An extremely brave act there. That was in 1941, so right in the middle of the, first, of the Second World War there. And that's his typed out account of what happened. This is his instruction to attend Buckingham Palace for his award. That's um, a record from the BBC of, of the extract from the news where they were talking about his, his acts there. That's a telegram to say that he's been awarded the OBE. All sorts there. And that's, that's him as well. Isn't that magnificent not? Um, estimate is about four or five hundred or so for the whole lot. There's the miniature medals as well to go with them. But what a fascinating story. It's the story with medals that's the appealing part. That's really what people are buying. And that's why the first war medals that have the names engraved around the side enable you to find out where these people served and what they did. And it's just far more interesting. The second war medals very rarely have a name on them, so you really can't assess what these people did. Um, what else have we got? These are, these are nice, completely different to the medals. These are... Um, probably late 18th or early 19th century snuff boxes. They're made of tortoise shell and inlaid very finely with gold and silver. That all over that one. And this one with a mother of pearl inlaid hound on the lid and a gold thumb piece. But again, it's all made of tortoise shell. And they should be probably sort of 250 to 300 each, I would have thought. And lots more interesting small things in the cabinet here as well. Gold sovereigns and half sovereigns. And interesting enamel boxes. And that's a piece of, um, a solid piece of opal there, carved as, as exotic fish. That's a great lump of opal. Um, and keep walking around here. Just have a look at a few more things. Very, a very posh tea tray there. This is about 1900. Covered in marquetry, and it's in good condition as well. Look at that, with brass handles. One of the nicest ones of those you could find, I should think. And that should make probably 150 or so, I would have thought. And we'll carry on up here. Just a few more things. Lots of ceramics and military things. Quite a few military things this time, actually. There's a whole collection of swords here. So these are the beginning of the sale, and we've got a all sorts here. So this is um, a, probably a late 19th century military dress sword. And um, it's a first war period one here as well. There's a Japanese sword here in a lacquer scabbard, which is a lovely old, old sword here. And that's in quite good condition as well. Very interesting thing that. These are um, cavalry sabres. There's a pair of those cavalry sabres, which are Victorian. Infield, I think those. Um, pair of First War period bayonets, and that's a First War period navy dress sword, which again is a, in quite good condition as well, I think. It's got an etched blade there with the navy cipher. That is good. It's just been oiled all over that one, so that's you'd say that was in very good condition. There we are. So quite a few interesting swords here and these are more sort of ceremonial or perhaps masonic types of sword here and these are sword sticks there it is a gruesome thing that you shouldn't walk, around, walk the streets with there's two of those sword sticks in one lot there there we are so this sale is next wednesday and thursday so the antiques 
uh, are on Wednesday and the art section is on Thursday. So it's on view on the website now. So the whole lot, everything is photographed, multiple photos of everything in the sale. There's lots of jewellery to have a look through as well. Some lovely jewellery again this time as usual. And so we're viewing on Monday from 9 till 5, Tuesday from 9 till 7 and on the morning of the sale. And the sale starts at 10 on Wednesday morning and on, at 11 on the Thursday morning for the paintings. So please have a look online and hopefully you find something of interest. Thank you.